So we are going to discuss about the centrifugal blower and some of its concepts and some of the components in the experimental setup. We are having a frame mover here. So this frame mover is coupled to centrifugal blower. This is the centrifugal blower. So what happens is when this frame mover rotates, it causes the impeller inside it to rotate. And because of this movement of the impeller, it causes the air which is attached to the impeller is thrown out of these blades. This impeller is spirally shaped blade. So the air is thrown out of this blade and which will be reaching this casing. And in this casing, uh, from this casing through the deck, it will be moving through this pipe. So uh, here what happens is because of the rotation of this impeller, uh, the air gets some kinetic energy and that kinetic energy is changed to pressure energy by the increase in the area of this casing. And that is supplied to, uh, let us say, that will be supplied to a tank where the air will be stored. So here we are having a frame mover, a centrifugal blower, then a venturi meter. Uh, venturi meter and uh, two ducts will be provided to manometer from which we can take the static head and dynamic head. And it is the control wall. Control, by control wall, we are able to this adjust the mass flow rate and then there will be the output. So these are the main components of a centrifugal flower extreme system.